Hey everyone, today I'll be drawing Lord Krishna. I realize I'm a bit late, but I'll explain the reason for that in this video. But before that, if you're wondering why these markings are appearing on my sketchbook, it's because I'm using a different type of grid method. If you'd like a detailed video on this grid method, do let me know in the comments. So, I had planned to draw Lord Krishna for John Mashtami, and while I wanted to post the video on John Mashtami, I thought I'd finish the drawing a day before. But in my laziness and overconfidence, I thought I could complete the drawing in a single day, especially since I was recording the video in daylight. So, I started the drawing a day before Jan Mashtami, around 4 p.m., and then I realized what a big mistake I had made. Although the drawing could have been completed in two hours, it required a calm mind, and I was under a lot of pressure. So I had to stop recording by 6 p.m., and the next day I completed the drawing by 1 p.m. However, I couldn't upload the video because my phone's battery ran out, so I had to put it on charge first. Later, when my phone was charged, I started editing quickly, but again, due to the pressure, I couldn't focus on what I was doing, so I had to stop the editing. Now I'm the only one who will upload the Krishna drawing after John Mashtami. I don't know why I felt the need to post the video on John Mashtami itself, especially when creators like Hitro Art and Darshan's Art had already uploaded their videos before the festival. So guys, if you're working on a drawing related to a festival or specific event, I have some advice. Complete the drawing a day before the event. Don't make the same mistake I did and remember, draw with patience. Finish it ahead of time for that. Now, let's focus on the drawing, and the inking is also complete. Now let's start coloring. For the skin, I'm using these pencil colors. First, I'll apply a base layer using sky blue. Then, I'll use this color to show the shadows. I'm not sure what it's called. Now, I'll use dark blue to show even darker shadows. Now, I'll blend them using sky blue. Now I'll color the tilak on his forehead using yellow and red brush pens. It's now 6 p.m. and the daylight is fading, so we'll continue recording tomorrow morning. The next day. Now I'm using a slightly different technique to color the neck. Now I'm using a blackboard marker to color the eyebrows, eyes, and hair. Now I'll use brush pens to apply a base layer for the jewelry and clothes, and then add details with pencil colors.
Now I'll color the peacock feather and flowers using the same technique I used for his clothes. I use the same technique to color the background as well. Coloring the flute was a bit challenging. I used a weird yellow color and light brown and blend them together. If you liked the video, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 